bro. If, 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 if y'all don't know, I've known Tyrese for years, like since I was a, a teenager. He's always been like a big brother to me. And that's real. He's always been like a big brother to me. Uh, we had a mishap, not really a mishap, but we had a, a kind of a back and forth in Miami at one point before uh, even me even signing with him where he kind of came off left to me in a club in Miami. Like, you know, you ain't, you, you ain't, you ain't my little, I mean, you, you done got, you done got older. You ain't like my little sister no more. And I had to come, I had to go to the big homies that know us and have them to check him because I kind of felt disrespected because he's always been like a brother to me. I've never looked at him in any other way. Never been attracted to him in any other way. He was just my brother. So anyway, he approached me about working with me solo and doing a project with me solo. I'm like, okay, I'll give it a chance. He, he was very persistent about doing working with me. And I'm like, cool, let's just see where this goes. Uh, so we started working. I'm, I'm going to shorten it down for you. We started working. I go out to L.A. We start working. But I noticed that a lot of the, the mutual friends we have that are in the business, as far as writers, uh, I'm talking about Grammy, Grammy winning writers and producers, they didn't want to come around. I'm trying to figure out why I'm reaching out to everybody like, Hey, and I ain't going to say no names on here, but I'm reaching out like, Hey, can you come through? You know, we're working on a project. Uh, this is what we have in mind. And nobody wanted to come and work with him. We love you, Crystal. But you know, uh, if you know, if you know him, then you know him, then you know what I'm saying. Nobody wanted to come and work with him, but obviously because he has a reputation. Um, so I said to him, listen, I got my own team at home, um, uh, right, a writer and a producer. We can get this done. We can get this album done in two weeks. First red flag. He only brought the producer out. He did not bring D Rose out, which was the first red flag. Cause I'm like, okay, okay. Well, maybe he feels like there's other writers that maybe can, you know, get the job done. But again, nobody was coming through to get the job done. I wasn't really trying to even write. I'm like, I'm just, I'm lit. Look, I'm here to sing. Let's just, let's just do what we got to do. So the producer comes out and I won't say his name. The producer comes out and there's this, it's this weird vibe. Like, you know, I ain't, I ain't bringing him out. The other guy. Eventually, D. Rose ended up having a meeting in L.A. He ends up coming out anyway. Okay. Second red flag. He didn't want me and D. Rose together at his house. Weird. Was also weird to his then girlfriend. Who said, what's the problem? That's her husband. They're married. What's the problem? Long story short, D Rose came in. Okay, he cool, he cool now, he cool, whatever. He comes in, smashes. Okay, let's be clear. Came in, smashed, wrote some amazing records that are still amazing to this day. He loved them. It was all good. We were working. But like I said, there was a weird vibe. There was a weird vibe. Things were weird because, you know, why you feel some type of way about my husband coming? Whatever, whatever. Now, mind you, I've, I've been with the same guy since I've known Reese. I've been with the same guy. So I didn't understand what his problem was unless there was something underlying. I don't know. I didn't care because that ain't what I'm there for. I'm there, I'm there to work. Okay. So we get that done. We go home. Okay, we, we basically get an album done in two weeks. He contacted me later and said, hey, uh, we're gonna, I'm going to be in Atlanta. This is when they were shooting the other movie. Come down. Uh, at the same time, I was shooting a documentary 
we were shooting a documentary of my life and what I've been through so far in the business. Came down. He said, oh, you know, bring, bring, bring D. Rose. D. Rose didn't even want to come. Because mind you, D. Rose don't be in my business. So that's what a lot of people got. A lot of people get things twisted. Okay. D. Rose don't be in my business. He doesn't care to be in my business. Unless somebody putting their hands on me or somebody disrespecting me, he don't get involved in my business. That's just not the type of guy he is. A lot of people have some, 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 you know, messed up ideas of, of who he is and how he is. That's not at all how he is. He really didn't even want to be involved. But I'm like, nah, just come. You know what I'm saying? He said, nah, come on, man. You know, I don't care. I don't care if, 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 a, if a dog write the hits. We got, we got to get the hits. You know what I'm saying? And, and you've been producing the hits. You've been producing the hits. That's just the bottom line. So he was shooting Fast and Furious. Okay. We were shooting the documentary at the same time. Traveling up and down the road from Atlanta to North Carolina. In short, that's what we were doing. D. Rose wrote the majority of the records that were being produced down in Atlanta. Okay, now at this point, we're talking about what we wanted to look like, what we wanted to sound like. This is when I started feeling a little weird, I, I, I got to say it, a little dictatorship energy. Because when I came into it, the understanding was, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to work as a team. We're going to work as a team. Yes, I was married to him then when he said that. Um, but we're going to work as a team. You know what I mean? I want to make your dreams come true. I want, I want to know your vision. I want to know what you want. And, and this was the first time that I was actually getting a chance to, to do what I wanted to do, to sound how I wanted to sound. I'm talking about incredible records with credit to, to the, to the writers that did come through.